All right, what's up? This is Lauren. I am the Story Brand Strategist coming to you from the Bronx, New York City. What's up? This is a little special something for my, someone who follows me on um, Instagram. I've been uh, messaging back and forth. This is for Polo Dude, okay? So if you want to find him, that is Polo underscore Dude, okay? Polo as in P-O-L-O-W underscore D-U-D-E. Okay, if you want to find him, all right? And he is a, he is an artist, a recording artist, all right? So uh, this is uh, for him. However, if you happen to be an artist, this can be applicable to you. So what's up, Polo? All right, let me show you a little something. Now, uh, you messaged me asking me because I'm in New York City. If I can get you on the uh, radio station up here, uh, that is a negative, as you already know. I haven't been in the circles in a long-ass time. So, and it's not my specialty. I am a uh, marketer and a business builder. However, I did say I would, um, you know, give you something that can um, help you. Um, and I, uh, th this is for you. So if you, I'm going to give you at least two two big suggestions if you use at least one of them if you lose at least one I can guarantee that you will have some type of result even though the results will vary in terms of the time it takes to act for you actually to start seeing um, something out of it right because part of building a business and um, doing your craft is that you might put out a hot song but it might take a little while for it to start picking up right it might take a few rotations before people to really start liking it so it's the kind it's the same principle there so just to let you know I'll let you know that um, out in the beginning alright so I'm looking at my phone trying to look at this uh, so I can have some more accurate information okay so my dude uh, you are on um, Spotify with your music. Very good. Uh, one of the first messages I'm going to share because it's not that personal was um, I said that you should be putting out a song like 2017 should be littered with you working on your music, on your craft, that you should have songs just about every week. You know, and I mean that because uh, in that industry, in the music industry, for those who might be watching who are not uh, artists, um, those performers who do not produce, do not perform, they die. So you need to be producing as much music as possible. That is part of your, that is part of your craft. That's part of the business you are in. There's no bullshit right there. Um, now on Instagram, you have over twenty thousand followers, right? You are almost at thirty thousand followers. Think you're. About thousand shy from that, so maybe by the time you watch it, you might be at thirty thousand uh, followers. But you have an incredible pull right there, my dude. You have something very, uh, very special right there, and you don't even see it. So you want to be on a ray in New York because if you're in New York, that's oh always like the mecca, the hot spot of um of when it comes to hip hop and R and B. And also island music. That's like the hot spot. If you're in New York, you can make it anywhere. And what I'm going to try to do is refocus you a bit and to look at what you already have and getting everything you got out of what you have for 28,000 followers. Because, uh, bro, you have enough followers for you to be um, leveraging that enough to uh, money in your pockets. Okay? So I'm going to give you two suggestions. Now, I'm going to give you the first suggestion. Um, let me get, let me start off with what would have been the first, the second suggestion. If you are that serious about the radio, let me, as you should already know, but let me explain, uh, explain a little bit. Um, nobody wants to do any work in the music industry when it comes to finding hot records. People are searching YouTube and seeing who already has a heavy following and they see if they like the song enough and possibly putting that on a radio depending on if it's an original song or not people there a and r has completely disappeared for the most part in um record companies all right um a while ago uh, actually years ago i wanted to work in that so I, I i did my thing i'm a musician I, I play instruments right 
And so I understood that industry extremely well. A&R has, for the most part, completely disappeared. Um, most artists that are hot now, when you look at their backgrounds, they were in other groups and in, in the industry for 10, 15 years before they started popping off in, in a lot of cases. Or they were YouTube stars. Or um, they got put on by certain big names, but then you still find out they went through four or five years of artist development, which most of the time doesn't happen unless the act, the artist is a minor. Okay? So uh, look at Justin Bieber. Look at... Um, some other some other groups. If you watch the New Edition story, you'll you'll see a little bit of that. Um, there are look at Neo and where he came from. He was technically working in the industry for what almost ten years or so, like seven eight years uh, before we know him as Neo, right? Look at Alicia Keys. That's why they have so many song credits because they were writing stuff for other people and they were in other groups. So uh, just keep that in you know keep that in mind. I have no clue how long you've been uh, doing your thing here as uh, artist, but it does take time. So this suggestion, if you are gun ho about the path of, of of radio stardom in places like New York City, where I'm from and in currently right now, um, if you want a chance to be on a radio with some with some heat for people at the major radio stations, even give a damn. You have to be producing a lot of work, and you have to show the results of that work. So, what's the results? The results are downloads of your songs. How many fans do you have downloading your songs? How many fans do you have taking pictures um, and shouting you out on social media? That's what people are looking for, right? That you basically have to be the YouTube star, Um sort of a uh, thing that's going on where people were uh, recording themselves singing cover songs in their music and gaining a massive following. That's what they're looking for. Nobody wants to put a flop on the radio, especially uh, now the way the industry is going because the attention of, of people listening to the radio is just not there. Um, I listen to The Breakfast Club, not on any radio, and I own a radio in my car. I wait till they have the YouTube video, and I will watch that, right? That's where my attention is. So sometimes a lot of songs are not getting, like the number of spins is almost irrelevant when you look at it from uh, the big perspective of what's actually going on out there now um, in the industry. But if that is something you are gun ho on, you basically have to be producing your songs. Like I told you, you should have at least a song out every week. You know, 52 weeks in a year, you should have at least 52 songs. You know, that's what that's what has to happen. Um, I see you're on Spotify. Uh, let's see, are you on SoundCloud? You should be on SoundCloud, my brother. You should be on SoundCloud. You should have music out there. Um... Let's see, what's another place you can be? Uh, Stitches more podcasts. I don't see too many music, but you should be have a SoundCloud. You're on Spotify, SoundCloud. You, um, I think, believe you're already on iTunes. If you're not I, iTunes, you also need to be on Google Play. Uh, this is a mistake that a lot of artists are making. They focus so much on Apple that they forget that half the industry, meaning half the market, actually has Android phones. Half the market is based, it's almost a 50-50 even split between um, a smartphone device users. They have iPhones or they have some type of Android device. So the fact that everybody is on iTunes but they ignore Google Play is an issue. Now, I don't know specifically all the breakdowns of Google Play. Um, so I don't know if it's more of a contractual issue. I don't know that when you sign on to be to sell your stuff on iTunes, um, that they make you sign some agreement that you must wait a year or two before you can go on Google Play. I don't know. Uh, but that is something for you to look out on. You should be on both platforms because I guarantee that there's people who want to listen to your music or there are people in your audience who cannot get, can only get your music through Spotify. And if they're not into Spotify and they're on Google Play, well, guess what? You're missing out on money because um, they don't have an iPhone, right? And they don't utilize that platform. So also look to Google Play. Utilize all, all, all avenues there. Okay, a lot of artists are making this mistake. Listen, Apple did a wonderful job branding. They were one of the first 
majors to take over that market, but it's very much uh, a Google a Google world as well. So try to get on Google Play um, to have to have your music available to other people. There, that is an ecosystem that people are not really utilizing very well, and it's very telling. Now I've been out of studying the industry as closely as I used to, but even I can see that. So you're probably missing um, a lot on a lot on that end. How the hell does that help you? Well, guess what, baby? Google Google Play owns Google the search engine that determines revenues for many businesses around the world. So if you're on Google's platform, which is YouTube is a Google platform, so meaning you should have videos on YouTube, um, and I'm, I, think, I believe you have music videos, uh, I'm not sure, but you have you should have stuff on YouTube, a YouTube channel, you should have, should be on Google Play as well, because Google owns that ecosystem, so it will help you, it helps in your ranks, like Google likes when you use Google stuff, okay, so you should be doing that, so if you do not have a YouTube channel, I would um, get on it, I don't care if all you do is record videos talking about where you live and how you grew up, I don't give a damn if it's only five minute videos of, of you walking into a studio and you setting up to go do your thing. I don't care if you have a video of you out there shopping, okay, I don't care, but you need to be on those platforms as well, because if you're looking for radio play at major stations in major markets like New York or Chicago or out on a um, West Coast with California and such, they are looking at that. They want to see where you are, where you rank. And how many people are following you? How many downloads you have? All right. So being on all those platforms really um, is important if that's what you're looking for. Okay. Now that's still a long termish kind, a long termish kind of game. There's nothing get, you know. There's no way of getting a around that. So maybe you're doing this thing by yourself. Maybe you have a crew helping you. But that's something that um, you you have to. Um, <clears throat> You have to uh, consider uh, seriously if that's what you're looking to uh, looking to do. Now, I'm gonna stop this video because it's becoming very long, and I have to record the second suggestion uh, for you. All right, I'll be right back. Stay tuned for the part two of advice.